Hi guys, it's Steph and I'm back in the kitchen with True Local today and we're making Mexican stuffed peppers. Okay, first thing, we're gonna add about a tablespoon of butter to the pan. And what we're gonna do is add to that the ground beef first. Make sure that that's melted though. And then as that melts, I'm just gonna add the ground beef and let that cook off first and then we'll add the rest of the ingredients after. And then while the beef is cooking, just season it with sea salt. We'll make sure that we season everything throughout the cooking process. Okay, perfect. So once the beef is brown, we're just gonna set it aside and put it in a bowl and then we're gonna get on with the rest of the ingredients. Okay, so once the onion and garlic has cooked down and is nice and soft, we're gonna go ahead and add the spices to it. So first I'm gonna add one teaspoon of paprika, two teaspoons of chili powder, one teaspoon of cumin, and about a half teaspoon of oregano. And then once they've started to heat up a little bit, we're just gonna add the ground beef right back in. Into the mixture, and then just make sure that you stir it well so that the spices coat all of the ground beef. So now I'm gonna add in about a cup and a half of crushed tomatoes. So about half of a big can or one full small one. And then about two tablespoons of tomato paste. You want the mixture to be a little bit thick because you want it to hold together in the peppers. So you don't want it to be runny. And then once that is all stirred together, we're gonna go in with about a cup of black beans. And about a half cup of corn. And again, we'll just let that cook for maybe three minutes just so it all melts together and the flavors go together. And then once that is done, we'll go ahead and put it right into the peppers and the peppers will go in the oven to roast. So now we're gonna stuff the peppers and you just wanna lightly drizzle them just a little bit with olive oil, like very, very, very light. It'll just help them cook a little bit in the oven, just lightly. And then we're gonna go ahead and stuff all of them. So just like a heap spoonful, just enough to fill the cavity. All I did was cut the peppers in half um, and then took the seeds and the core out. Went nice and tightly packed in there. Perfect. And you can use any colors you want. I used an array of colors, but you could just use all red, all yellow, all orange. You could even use green if you wanted to. And then once these are stuffed, they're gonna go into the oven for about 20 minutes just to soften the actual pepper. The meat is cooked, but we just want the peppers to be nice and tender. And then once the peppers are all stuffed, we're just gonna go ahead and put it right in the oven. Let them cook. 